Zapier for beginners how to use Zapier full tutorial. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this great video I'm going to show you how we can use Zapier from scratch. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistake. So in order to get to this website we need to visit zapier.com and as you can see Zapier provides us the opportunity to connect apps and save our work time without any code. So it's free forever for core features and there's like a lot of different apps we can connect. How does it work? It works pretty easy. It helps us to create like flexible automations that perform different actions based on if then logic. So it means that we can connect two different apps or services which are not like connected at all with the help of Zapier. We can also customize our Zaps with webhooks, receive data from any service or send requests to any URL without writing codes or running any servers. It's pretty good and it's pretty helpful service as for me. It also cover all bases. You don't see like a there are a lot of different apps we can connect here and what does it mean? It means that we have like at least 5000 apps by the most popular so there are a lot of them and I see every single app I'm using by my own like Slack, Gmail, Google Sheets, Google Calendar, MailChimp. We can scroll down right up here and find a lot Notion, Airtable, Stripe, even Asana and Shopify. So the most popular apps and like I think almost all of them are still here. If you are not like able to find the service you are using, you need to like connect their support and probably they will like change the, their mindset and will would like to add it to their like service. So uh, it provides us the opportunity for multi-step apps also build apps that automate several tasks at once. We can also add like paths, create apps that perform different actions based on if and logic, different filters, use filters so apps run only when certain conditions are met. And we can also schedule, schedule your apps to run whenever it's right for you. And formatter, we can just transform data, currency, text and more into you preferred format and also like webhooks as I already said. So in order to use it we need to click on sign up if you are new to this like service so let's click on it and we have like some options here we can connect like with Facebook with Microsoft. I'd like to choose the Gmail option but we can also create like from scratch with our email here so let's continue with a Google account so I'll just click on it here choose one of my accounts and I will start. Yeah, so after that we'll open this page and help us to customize your experience, select the role your best describes. So I'd like to choose like business owner, basically it doesn't matter, but as for you, choose the suitable one. How many employees does your company have? 1 to 49, I will choose and then I just click on continue. What apps do you use? So here uh, we can choose like the apps you are using. So they'll give us like personal workflow recommendations based on the apps we are using. I will choose some apps like Slack, Gmail and MailChimp. And also I'd like to choose like Trello. So after that uh, we need to click on finish setup. And basically everything is ready. Now we are on our working page here. And as you can see in the left side, we can find our menu. We can the option, we see the option to create the app. We also have our dashboard, our apps, transfers, my apps, Zap history, and explore. Also, there is like the description of our personal plan. So it's like trial now. Everyone who is like joining their service gets the free trial for like 40 days. And in the right top, we can see our like uh, name so we can simply use it and just click and just edit some our personal like accounts so uh, Zeps if we we'll go to Zeps uh, we can find the opportunity to like manage our uh, Zeps uh, there are a lot of recommendations here but we can also like click on create so if you need to create Zep just click on create and here just click on new Zep after that, we need to choose the trigger. That a trigger is an event that starts your zap. 
So for example, in Google Calendar, we can choose like task created or even started or some other stuff. Then just click on continue. Uh, and after that, we need to sign up to our Google Calendar. After that, we need to choose the action. As you can see, the second step, an action is an event as a performer after it starts. So it means that if we edit some action with our like Google Calendar, the this action will be performed. For example, we can add this like task to our Notion or to Asana or to Slack and so on. So after that, we can like click on publish here and our Zap will be successfully created. Um, the next uh, thing uh, Zaps, Zapier provides us is that our transfers here. So if we we'll click on transfers, uh, we can find the opportunity to transfer data like from one app to another. This is useful for importing records or completing a batch process. So we can click on create a new transfer. And uh, on this page, uh, we need to choose, we need to decide move data at once or like move data on a fixed schedule. So I'll just click on run at once. And after that, uh, we need to click on create a new transfer here. From this, um, we need to choose the app we need to like where data is located. So let's choose like Gmail and source data is email. So after that, select destination, let it be like uh, Asana. Let's try to find the Asana. Yeah, Asana is right up here. And the destination action is like, let it be create subtask, for example. So then we need to click on next. And after that, uh, we'll go to like login page. We need to connect our Gmail, as you can see, set up Gmail, connect to Asana map your data and review your transfer. And after that, we can successfully create this transfer here. If you'll go to my apps, we can find some personal apps here. If you go to Zap history, we can find all of our Zaps. We can also filter them by data range, Zaps, apps, folders, and so on. And of course, so what I wanted to show is that like their personal plan, if you'll go to upgrade option, we can find that they have at least five plans here, like free, starter, professional, team, and company. And all of them are different in price, like $20, $15, 100 dollars and 800 So what is the difference? The biggest difference is like uh, for free plan, we can only use single step apps and uh, like no code editor as, as for every plan. And of course, uh, when they have like starter, we can use like multi-step apps use filters and formatter and different versions. And what is interesting with personal is that there is like unlimited premium apps like Spotify, Shopify. Basically, it's pretty helpful. Auto reply and custom logic with path. Also like team. And I guess that professional, you know, is the best way to like get started if you are going to use Zapier. So we can pay monthly, but it will be price will be a little bit higher, like 33% higher. So basically, we can also find the differences here. And uh, this is it. So this is a way of how can we use Zapier as a beginner. Hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.